Welcome to another episode of Poker Life. I'm Charlene. I'm Crispin. And today we're going to discuss the differences between how Hollywood portrays poker versus real life. Now, Crispin, when I imagine poker before meeting you, it's all glamour. You go over the high rollers and you have to look at everybody's tells in case they're twitching. But is that... It's all true. <laughs> is that reality? Are there supermodels everywhere? Like, do people just throw away all their money? <sighs> Yeah, so I wish it was true. At poker has gone through many different transformations, first of all. So poker originally grew out of, and when I say originally, I mean the 50s and 60s, obviously has a much longer past with the Mississippi dandies and the Wild West and all of that. But in terms of when it became popular, it occurred in Las Vegas. And then you had the World Series of Poker in 1970. So for the first time, people could compete for titles. And it was closely associated with the underworld. And and the gangsters had a certain glamour around them. They still do. It's it's a, a trope that won't die. And because poker was associated with it, it was, it was tied up in it. People today still have that image. And there are movies that reinforce that image. Casino Royale uh, with James Bond. You've got these hands that are all amazing. You know, people have full house, yeah. straight flush, four of a kind. It like comes uh, up so quickly, in, right? Does that happen often? <laughs> you, well, I mean, that's the, the perception that people have because that's what they're exposed to in, in social entertainment. Unless you're part of the poker world, you're not exposed to it as much. Like if you start typing poker stuff into YouTube, that's all you'll get. But it's easy to forget that a large majority of people out there have none of that showing up in their exposure. And so they only have the mental perception that that is the poker player. Also, the who plays poker has changed dramatically over that time. So while it was all the kind of rough and tumble ready guys, now it's more former chess players, people who just have a kind of nerdy analytical skill. The best players in the world don't look like mobsters. They they look like Star Trek geeks. Okay, They're people who end up as engineers and working for Tesla and Twitter and whatever else. They're the ones behind the scenes who just do all the maths and all the analysis, which is what poker really is. Poker, when it comes down to it, is a sophisticated version of rock, scissors, paper, and there is a mathematically optimal way to play. It's only the you know, emotionally sort of stunted nerds that can actually get into the depths of that. So the best players in the world aren't glamorous. They're just the people that are playing with their figurines and and watching their fantasy series and playing poker. But like how um, much so, does like reading people come into poker? Like because that's a lot in movies in Hollywood that reading people is a significant part of winning poker. <laughs> Am I wrong? Yeah. Uh well no you're not wrong in that that is represented in Hollywood. That is not the way people win poker, generally speaking. Yes, tells exist. The way they are presented in a particular hand, how quickly they do things, their bet sizing tells, but they are at the margins and they help people swing one way or the other in a mixed decision. But people who are winning players don't necessarily go, this is a clear fold, but because this person uh, scratched their chin you know, a few times, I'm going to suddenly call that's not how winning poker works winning poker goes okay this spot is a mixture between uh, calling and folding uh, in terms of the uh, expected value distribution it's indifferent but what i observe is that this player is prone to bluffing too much they seem to be nervous and last time they showed down a bluff they seem to be behaving similarly so i'm going to draw a pattern there and because I don't have anything else to go on, I'm just going to go with my gut and make the call. Uh, that is how the tells work, but they're at the margins. Nobody who basically focuses on tells but doesn't have a fundamentally sound poker strategy is going to be a winning player. So the idea of someone just looking across the table, do they have it, do they not have it, my entire net worth is on the line, that's all fantasy, that's all Hollywood. Uh, as I said, it's the people who are kind of sitting there with their very thick glasses who don't have 
any social skills, uh, let alone enough to read people and get into their soul, they're the true winning players. Because what makes you a winning player is to have the correct frequencies, to make uh, good bluffs using the right blockers, uh, to call with the right bluff catchers, and to do that at uh, you know the right amount relative to bet sizing that over time will create a, a winning distribution. And that, what I've just outlined there, is not glamorous. <laughs> that is people staring at grass. It sounds, sounds like a very complicated math. It, it, well, <laughs> it's, it's not that complicated, but it is math, yeah. And that's what poker is. Poker is cards. There's 52 cards in a deck. You get a couple of cards if you're playing Texas Hold and five come out on the board. There are betting rounds. The betting rounds involve money. Uh, the number of combinations of cards is a numerical quantity and the amount of chips that you win is based in big blinds and all of those things are done mathematically, you know, pot, odds, etc. So, yeah, it's all math. And while... Okay, but where does Hollywood... Hmm. All right, okay, it sounds like Hollywood has one side of poker, but is there any side of Hollywood that depicts poker right hmm. at all? Would it be good viewing if they did? Uh, because <laughs> is it way slower than it looks? Well, online it's not. Yeah, if you're playing online, it's hundreds of hands an hour. People just staring in front of their computer screen. Live poker is going to be more filmable because you can have the glamorous setting and the high intensity, and you're and focusing the on it in, in the models and an individual hand where everything is on the line. That those tense moments. Well, that, I mean, it can be reflected well. I think the closest thing to accurate poker life was Molly's game. Actually, was based on the true story. There was a Hollywood game of poker that involved some ultra famous people, which may or may not have been mm. Toby Maguire, Matt Damon, and others. And it excluded professional players. It just had to be recreationals. But the actual way the game is run and the way people behave at poker, that, that seemed to be pretty faithfully represented. I would say a live poker game filled with recreational players does look a lot like that. Yeah, that makes sense. And I admit that we did try to watch Molly's game. But as a non-poker player, there was so many, so much jargon that I couldn't even finish the movie. It was so boring. <laughs> like, I just, I mean, I think for a poker player that it might be interesting, but. Yeah, you yeah. really did struggle with it. I it's... mean, also Aaron Sorkin, who did the screenwriting, he has a kind of fast paced dialogue style, which can, some people love it and can, others they find it a barrier it can rub people the wrong way but when you're talking about poker you do need to make it accessible and perhaps that's the challenge that hollywood has it's like yeah we could faithfully represent poker but then it becomes difficult to understand because well, people who do that rock paper scissors analogy and the decision making tree that everybody has in their heads i think is that what it looks like for a poker player like well, that's what that's what poker is. So poker is an incredibly complicated version of rock, scissors, paper. And mm. the idea is that you observe the patterns of where people are throwing rock too much and then you compensate by throwing paper and sure. you then make money that way. Uh, it's basically seeing how people deviate from optimal strategies and then counter-exploit. Uh, but, yeah, so Hollywood, I don't know if Hollywood will ever get poker correct uh but i think perhaps when they look at you know, ai systems in the future movies about that they might they might get poker correct because then they have to look at it from the computational side of things uh, but at the moment no it's still got that whole you know i looked into his soul i could see he was bluffing you know he blinked three times or whatever that's not how at all how people win poker so bring me to you guys are there any good tv shows or movies that depict poker accurately what is a popular misconception about poker that isn't tells that you've come across? Leave your comments down below and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.